So a few days ago, a friend of mine asked me how you can take notes for like PowerPoint slides inside of Notion. So I wanted to record this video on just doing just that. Now you can do this with other kinds of files as well. You can do this with PDFs, you can do this with documents. But in this example, we're just gonna focus on PowerPoint presentations or any kind of presentation slides. Now I'll go over a couple of ways to do this. So I'll go over two ways actually to do this and the first way is let's say the first way is faster um, the second way is better if you want more in-depth notes okay so um, let me just go to my notion page here and I just made um, an example here let me just duplicate this and if you want if you think I'm going too fast let me know in the comment section um, we can always we can always do a video showing you the basics of Notion. I'm, I'm kind of assuming here you already know the basics of Notion, so I'm going a little bit fast. So I have a note sample one over here, and the way I've set it up is I have a table right here with the different subjects, and I have different fields, of course, relating to that subject. So for English 101, I have my schedule here, teacher here, you can add other things over here as well. And I can make it a gallery view. I can even add images if I want to for each of the subjects just to, you know, kind of make it look nicer. Now, let's say for English 101, I want to add my notes and I can add my notes over here. So in the first method, I'm going to show you I'm adding an inline table right here. So I can just put my notes here and then I can put the also the date of I can just change this to date. I can put um, lecture one and I can put the date of that lecture right here and I can open it up. I can type in my notes here, but in this specific example, we are using PowerPoint slides to well, add notes basically on PowerPoint slides. So let me go over here to my PowerPoint and this is just a PowerPoint slide I use for, for my business. So it's nothing really relate nothing really related to this but um, it's just an example of a PowerPoint slide and what I want to do is I want to save a copy of this and let me just save this as a PDF file right here okay and let me just export that and it is 108 slides so it's pretty big pretty big. so what I'm gonna do now is now that I have my PowerPoint file or my PDF file rather in my downloads I'm going to embed it here within the the notes area that I have here notion so I'm going to do slash embed to add a new embed and then let me just upload the file that I created from the PowerPoint it's gonna take a while this is an like an 11 megabyte file so it's gonna be a while for it to upload and I'm gonna let's get back so as you can see here I have my embedded PDF file and I can, over here I have a text block, so I'm just gonna say, like, slide one. I can do slide one, put notes there. I'm gonna drag it here to the right side, so I can have these side by side. And let me just adjust this, make this page um, full width, to you know, give it a bit more room over there. Okay, right now there seems to be a bug why I can't adjust the height on this anyone knows why then let me know um, but as you can see I can scroll through the slides I can put slide one notes I can put slide two slide three and so on so I can just put them over here type them and if they're, they're pretty long I can even put them in what we call a toggle so let me just convert this to a toggle toggle list and then if I have notes I can just drag them inside the toggle so that I can just open them up like so. That, you know. So I can have different toggles for different slides or different topics. And then if I need to open them up, I can just click on that over there. And I have my PDF, my well, here's a PowerPoint file, which I've turned into a PDF right here on the left side. All right, let's move on to the second method of taking notes. So okay, let's see, let's sample here. Um, let's change this to a copy of note sample one, but let's change this to note sample two. And we still have our subjects here with schedule and teacher, but I'm also going to add an inline table over here for the different notes. And I'm going to create a relationship between the notes and the subject. So every time I have notes, 
I'll just change this to date. And then every time I have notes, I'm gonna link it to one of the one of the subjects. So this is gonna be a relation. And subjects here. So I created a relation to the subjects database. And then I'm just gonna put subject name. So Let's say I have a lecture on, you know, I'm gonna take notes for, for prepositional phrases. And I'm just making things up over here. And then I'm gonna change this to a date, date, okay. And I had that today, September 8th. The subject, it's related to the English subject. And you can see here, notes for subject. Every time I add more notes, they're gonna come up here in English 101. So every time I open up English 101, I can see all the notes and I can open up all the notes right here. So going back to the notes, to the note that I was creating, prepositional phrases, um, I have of course the empty section where I can type my notes here. And as with the second method, like I said earlier, this is going to be if you have more complex notes, more complicated, more detailed, more complex notes, compared to method one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up PowerPoint again and um, I'm going to export this time. I'm going to export into JPEG files. And I'm gonna, let me export every single slide. So it's gonna, it's gonna take a couple of minutes for it to do this. Well, that didn't take long. That was real time, I didn't fast forward anything. And it's my downloads folder. So I have here all the slides, right? So what I'm going to do now, let me go back to Notion, is I'm going to pull in the slide here. Okay, so I have my slide. I'm just let me just show like five slides I'm gonna pull in. So I'm gonna pull up five different slides. There. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this so notes here. I'm gonna take this this text block and pull it to the right side of the slide so I can have the slide itself and I can have notes here and if I want to make it bigger let me just change this to full width right there so I can have pretty comprehensive notes and what I'm gonna do is each of these slides I can just drag it underneath slide one you can see that line right you can see the line here the blue line you can see the blue line here is uh, it's, it's very sensitive Up here this means it takes up the whole width here, I'm just making it half, just like this. And I can do that here. I can do that for this. Oops, I can drag that properly, like this. And I can do that for this, and so on. So I have all the slides here, and then the notes for the different slides just require me to like, kind of enter, enter, and so on. And then notes, notes for this slide. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. There's an even more kind of complicated way, you know, looking at this, you can combine different methods, even add a toggle here if I want to. So let's say slides, slides for topic one. I can move these slides inside this toggle like that. Unfortunately, you can't have columns inside slides. I just found that out. So if I want to look at the slides for topic one, I have it here and I can have a toggle here saying notes for topic one. And I can have all my notes. So it's, it's you know, it's kind of more organized. Slides for topic two. And I pull all the slides for topic two inside here. And then I have another toggle here. Notes for topic two and I can have multiple topics and instead of seeing all the slides here you know you can just do this do these toggles open and close these toggles to kind of keep your notes cleaner and just open the things that you need to open okay so those are the two ways that you can put notes next to you know PowerPoints or PDFs or as you can see images or pretty much anything else within Notion. You can use the embed function, which I showed you earlier to embed the PDFs. 
and then just scroll through or you can convert these PowerPoint slides into JPEGs and import those JPEGs and have the slides have the notes on the side as well hopefully this has been helpful for you and if you like this video please hit that like button or hit that subscribe button to get more updates and if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below I'll see you in the next video